Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at yet another Euros team of the tournament player. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing none other than Ruben Vargas, guys. I am pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. Now, this player is from Switzerland. Any place for a team in Bundesliga? I don't know how many of you know this team, FC Augsburg. Now he is a really good player. I have played with him in FC Mobile. He is a really good player. But in FC Mobile, he gets a left wing position, which is as his main position. Now in this game, in FC 24, the game that we are all playing right now, he gets a left mid position, 95 rated left mid card. But you can play him at left wing, right mid, and centre forward as well. So those are his alternate positions looks like a good card you need only an 85 rated squad with an informer team of the season player in to complete this sbc only one squad pretty cheap 85 rated squad i feel like everybody will be able to complete this sbc now we'll see whether it is bang for your buck or if it's an l or if these stats these stats we're going to be looking in just in a minute if these stats are just on paper you know flair or if it's actually true to the in-game uh you know mechanics as well we'll see how it is but first off five star we put four star skill move boom are these good i feel like these are the best skill move five star four star three star don't really care doesn't matter to me much i just do the ball roll and you know just a fake turn those two are my only skill moves that i play with and i'm pretty happy with four star skill move five star wake foot i'm buzzing buzzing and player work rate attacking and defensive are high which is really nice because he is a prominently left mid player so that left hole left side he'll be able to attack really well with his pace and his shooting attributes and his dribbling attributes and with his pace and dribbling attributes he'll be able to come back he doesn't have much stand tackle i'll show you guys the stand tackle he only has 76 stand tackle and 71 interceptions but at least he'll be able to you know put pressure on the uh, attacking side of the opposition i'm happy with that but apart from that five stars weak four to four star skill move high high attacking and defensive uh work rate really good really good five foot ten player and he has 95 pace 90 shooting i mean 91 shooting 90 passing and 93 dribbling with 80 defense and 86 physical these are his main on card uh stats now we'll look at the stats in depth before that we'll actually look at his play style he has finished shot he has uh chip shot he has whipped pass plus this is the first play style plus and the second play style plus is gonna be technical plus really good play styles you know so far rapid plus he has flare he has trickster he has relentless he has relentless and he has uh Trivella plus as well these play style pluses for the past few cards that we've been reviewing are actually really really good guys Playstyle pluses and even playstyles. He has relentless and he has finish shot uh, and uh, chip shot as well. Really good uh, playstyles and playstyle pluses for the past few cards. Now coming to his stats, the stats department, which is very exciting for me because look at his physical. He has 99 jumping, 99 stamina, and if you come to defense, he has 90 head heading accuracy. We saw he is 5 foot 10 with these heading accuracy stats, jumping stats, and stamina. It looks really good. It looks it gives me almost a Lissandro Martinez vibes because Lissandro Martinez is short. But I've scored around five to six goals in rivals and champs with him from corners, which is insane, guys. Lissandro Martinez is too good in air, and Vargas might be an equal player when it comes to you know those aerial wins. Now looking at dribbling, he only has 93 dribbling and 93 ball control. Do I need to be worried about this? I don't know. We'll see how he is in game. These stats look and say everything they can but if they are not, if they are good in game these stats don't mean anything <coughs> so we'll actually wait for the in-game review but these are on paper stats 99 agility 99 balance 93 ball control 93 dribbling uh he also has 94 long pass 95 short pass he has 90 crossing and 87 vision under passing under shooting he has 95 long shots and short par and he has 90 finishing 92 attacking position and the pace is very beautiful 97 acceleration and 93 sprint speed so these are all his stats his attributes are his play style all these stuff now let me just complete this sbc and put him in a squad we'll start a game and see how good he is in game and we'll do the player review in game okay now as you guys can see from the squad he gets a full chemistry uh you know card full chem 
now that will give us some boost in stats 93 sprint speed goes to 97 sprint speed and even if you guys see his passing his shooting his dribbling look at that his dribbling and ball control goes from 93 to 97 both of those which is really good and uh, some of his uh, defensive stats i mean stats have also increased so this is the power of using basic chemistry style you get stat boost all over the place this is one reason why i don't use a lot of uh, you know chem chemistry styles on players if you guys look at tony cruz zaka if you guys look at uh pacho pacho is actually not my second choice also center back but he has really good pace and he's been coming uh, in, he's, he's been coming handy a lot in rivals and champs guys because only because of the space he's been too good for me at center back position but yeah let us actually get into the game and test our card it's the rockets up against the dream destroyer. i mean dribbling is really good ball control is also pretty pretty decent pretty decent i wouldn't say it's bad ball control and dribbling are actually pretty decent see that is the only skill move that i use so it doesn't really matter if it's 4 star skill move or uh, 5 star skill move uh, but his pace feels a little bit slow it doesn't feel like he has really good acceleration even though it said he has 97 acceleration his acceleration bits of, feels a bit weak his passing stats his shot pass is actually really good not gonna lie his shot pass is really good his acceleration feels a bit slow as of now i mean we've been only playing for like 10 minutes of in game time we can't judge it based on just 10 minutes so let me just play with this card and see how his pace is i mean do you do i think for many people or for the people who just started playing this game of, of recently is this card a good choice for you guys I don't know how to say this, you know. I feel like there are better left mids or left wing uh, players out there. Even if players' stats are low, their in game ability is really good for most of the players. Now, this is where the whole high rated overall means it the card is better. Theory comes to, you know, goes into the bin because look at this Vargas card. Is he worth the 95 rated squad we put? So far, it doesn't feel like that because even if I play Garnacho in that uh, left wing position, Garnacho is just too good, it's like too rapid and stuff. Now, Vargas doesn't feel like that for some reason. His stats on card are really good, but in game, the whole pace situation is, a, is still a bit shaky. Look at that. I mean, sprint speed is really good. Look at that sprint speed, but acceleration is so weak and his crossing is low as well it doesn't feel really good his finishing is way 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 worse his shot bar is good i mean the pa uh, the the ball that went out of speed it it was rapid but apart from that the finishing the shot on target was not really great look at rafina rafina is too good rafina is too good at the left wing i mean right wing position is vargas at least equal to rafina because rafina is 90 6 rated, Vargas is 95 rated, it's just a difference of 1 overall, does 1 overall mean a lot, it doesn't really, like when he doesn't have the ball on his feet, he's rapid, but when he gets the ball on his feet, acceleration drops, print speed drops, and then the whole ball control situation is just, look at that, why is he doing those uh, extra touches over there, extra touches meaning heavy touches, but yeah, I mean, we played with him for half, uh, for a half time whistle. So far, I wouldn't say the card is great. 85 rated squad. Maybe it'll be justifiable just because he's that cheap. You can easily get him. I don't think many people will be doing this. I don't think you guys should be doing this as well. That's one main reason I do all these player reviews. Because I do this so that you get to know by watching the videos whether the player is really good or not. I don't know how the other people find it on YouTube, how the Vargas card, if they are completed or not. But as of now, according to me, it is not a very great card. It might be like a fodder card if you guys want to just give in your random squad that you have and get a 95 rated player and keep him as fodder. Maybe that's a good idea. But apart from that, I don't really see any good use for him. Instead of doing this Vargas card, you can go to the M.E. Martinez card, a 97 rated goalie will actually be a good addition to your squad which is also one squad build spc i think 
yeah it is a one spot build SVC. i don't know the squads that you need to put in but apart from this i really don't have much to say this feels like a uh, this feels like an l uh, player review because the player is not that great not gonna lie uh but yeah it, i hope you guys found this video a bit informative and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye bye